We are back here in Bartley Ridge today. The Property Lynn Ballas team is bringing you up to a two-bed, two-bath unit. A little standing rack, a sh what do you call it? A rack? A shelf? The unit is standing at 731 square feet with a quiet facing and it's in move-in condition. Shelf? Join me as we head up to this lovely home. Let's go! This is Bartley Ridge, a 99-year leasehold condominium that TOP in 2016 with its lease starting from 2012, giving us a very healthy lease of 89 years left. The project was done by a tripartite developments private limited and it consists of three developers, TDL, TID and Hong Leong Holdings Limited and they have done projects across Singapore such as the Inflora, Hedges Park as well as Forest Goods. The two bedroom units here are sized between 721 square feet all the way to 768 square feet and today we are in the 731 square feet with a two bed, two bath configuration. There are a few differences between the 721 and the 731 square feet unit. For ours, we have a slightly longer foyer, which is allowed for the owners to do up this carpentry here. These are really nice because it doubles up as their shoe cabinet as well as extra storage. The mirror here also definitely helps to open up the space. And then moving on, it transits you seamlessly into your dining area. The DB box is behind and so you have some storage space right behind. This current setup is a six-seater. Without the shelf here, you can definitely accommodate for a slightly longer, maybe an eight-seater if you like. We'll move on to the living area. As I'm walking here, I just want to make known that the flooring has actually just been done 10 months ago. They actually did a new vinyl flooring covering, so everything feels really new. I really like this living room area. We have a great distance between your couch and the TV. This is a comfortable three-seater. If you want, you can always accommodate for an L-shaped sofa, and then you push your dining table closer to the TV box area. Right now, the TV console setup is something of a movable and not a fixture, so you have a lot of free play in terms of how you want to renovate this space or bring in your own furniture if you like to. Coming out here, I love this balcony space. The owner did do some changes here as you can see right behind me invisible grills have already been done on top of that they've also already done up the blinds the owner has mentioned that they essentially always leave the balcony doors open because rain doesn't come in to accommodate for more storage the owner has decided to put some cabinets you have a total of eight panels here the power points are still hidden behind and they've cut a little crevice there the current setup is really nice you can grab a coffee and enjoy this beautiful view the condo is actually on a north south orientation there's a pond right ahead and then you have the community garden up ahead there as well so the facing here that we have is towards the Gurkha Cantonment. This is their leisure area, so you only really see them during the public holidays. This is a very quiet facing and you really don't get any sort of disruptions in the area. into the living room area and let's talk about the location here. So Bartley Ridge is actually in the RCR zoning in the District 13 and when many people think of Bartley, they think of D19 rather than District 13. Where Bartley Ridge is, is before Bartley Road East and beyond Bartley Road East, that's actually the District 19 zoning. What that means for us residents is that we don't have to pay a premium even though we are in the District 13 zoning. We're just a two minutes walk away to the Bartley MRT station. A short two minutes U-turn to the Bartley Viaduct, five minutes drive to the PIE and a a quick six minutes drive to the nearest KPE entrance. Just a few minutes walk away, we have Maristella High School. Aside from that, we also have Cedar Primary, which is also within our one kilometer radius. For your main amenities, you can head down to Next, which is just an MRT stop away. You can also head down to Paya Lebar or Junction A, all within a few MRT stops away. Let's go into the kitchen. The kitchen here is an enclosed kitchen. You have your sliding doors here, so if you're someone who likes heavy cooking, this is great. Good sized fridge towards this side here. And then you have your cooker hood up and your oven right down below. So we have the washer dryer combi here, and then if you want to do some air drying, you can also do it outside. The Stegen drying rack that the owners have already installed in the balcony scene. Lots of countertop space here. It's a very nice L-shaped kitchen. If you want, you can do an open concept kind of kitchen. Have this wall taken away, and then you have your dining table right beside, and you could maybe do a bar counter or maybe even just have this open and have a larger living room area. We have soft closing hinges throughout the kitchen which is always helpful because when you're in a hurry in the kitchen, you don't want to hear the slamming. Now let's go 
check out the common bedrooms and talk about the pricing in the District 13 zoning. Now, there have been quite a few new launches in the area, for example, Woodley Residences as well as Park Colonial. And the Park Colonial is a 99-year leasehold project that has already been fully sold with the two bedroom sizes sized between 678 square feet to 748 square feet. Top sale units have already transacted at $2,005 to $2,100 PSM. Asking prices there are now going at $2,064 to $2,440. This brings asking prices between $1.4 million to $1.55 million for a two-bedroom unit. The Woodley Residences, also a 99-year leasehold project. All the two-bedroom units have been fully sold. Sizes are between 570 to 721 square feet. Transacted prices for these units started from $1,007 and has inched its way upwards to $2,468. Subsale units may come to a PSF of $2,002 to $2,600. With the new launch doing so well in the region that buyers looking to buy into a certain quantum will then look into the next available zoning within the RCR zoning and might land themselves in the Bartley region. So within the Bartley region, there's also another new launch called the Bartley View. This is also a 99-year leasehold project, TOP in 2026. The size for the two-bedroom units are going at 732 square feet. PSF is going at $1,910 to $1,964. Asking prices are going between $1.39 to $1.43 million. Now our unit here is sized at 731 square feet. Our asking price at $1.25 million negotiable. PSF going at $1,709. Now we talked about buyers and upgraders and where are these buyers and upgraders coming from? Now if you take a zoom out with me and take a look at the map, you would have seen that there's a plot going next door that's under construction and that's actually Bartley Beacon, a BTO that is due to TOP in 2025. So if you zoom out further, you will see that there are at least seven other BTO plots in the region that will TOP between 2022 to 2025. When these 8,000 over units MOP, about 20 to 30% might look to upgrade and sell. And so this will form our ready pool of buyers looking to upgrade into the region. We're very close to the Paya Leba Air Base, which will see its relocation in the coming years. There will be a rejuvenation of the area into a highly livable and sustainable new town. There we will see new offices, shops, commercial institutions and education plots. So then how does this play into your investment or your pivot home strategy? If you take a look at the rental transactions that are going in the condo for a two-bedroom unit, it's already transacting at $3,500. Now let's look at the financials. If you take a 2% interest rate across 30 years or a 75% loan to value ratio, your mortgage comes up to be $3,465. Now taking a look at what the rental asking is in the condo, the two bedroom units are already asking between $3,009 to $4,200. The rental income coming from the two bedroom unit will definitely cover your mortgage as well as still be sufficient to cover the MCST fee of just about $290 a month. Enough numbers, let's check out the first common bedroom. Currently, the setup is for a couple, so they don't have a bed here, but of course, this is comfortable for you to put a bed. The rare lounge has some drawer here, which is great for them to use maybe as a walk in wardrobe and for them to put their clothes. This looks to me right now like the perfect setup for a nursery, but of course, if you want to just convert this to a regular bedroom or even a study room, this is a really good size. Wardrobe has already been done by the developers and it's tucked towards the corner so it doesn't eat into your space. This bathroom here, that's kind of like sort of an ensuite because it leads to the Jack and Jill bathroom. One thing we want to mention about the bathroom in Bartley Ridge is that it's such a good size. Even just for a common bedroom, your bath is tucked towards that corner there. They have done very nice details with the shelvings for you to put your toiletries. You still have a lot of comfortable space within the wash closet and the sink area. Marble detail looking towels. They have storage below, even a lead chair for them to put some of their toiletries and their grab and go items. Now let's go check out the master bedroom. Very efficient layout, a really good size. The current setup is a king size bed and it's bigger than usual because of the frame that they have chosen. Now, they still have space for them to put a little side table there. They have really nice windows here that gives you this amazing greenery view. Very private view with no one looking in. So current setup is that the wardrobe is tucked towards the corner, similar to the common bedroom, not eating into your walking space. A suggestion that we have if you like is you can do a full carpentry here where you can do inbuilt storage as well as an inbuilt bed together with that whole setup. Yeah. Let's 
let's move into the toilet here. Really great size bathroom, a nice standing shower with a window for natural ventilation. Bathroom size is comfortable enough for the owners to also put a standing shelf towards the corner for them to put more of their cosmetics as well as their toiletries. But otherwise, the developers have also thought about extra storage towards this side here, under the sink as well as the ledge where the mirror is. So we're almost done with the home tour. Before we end, let's talk a bit about your facilities. So within the condo, we have the 50 meters lap pole and another 25 meter lap pole. On top of that, you have a few clubhouses where you can find the gymnasium, your reading rooms, function rooms, and lots of barbecue and dining pavilions throughout the condo. Kids playground, children's fun area, which includes the children's splash pool, as well as the play agora. Thanks for staying with us to the end of the home tour today. This is Bartley Ridge in the RCR District 13 zoning. We have a two-bed, two-bath here standing at 731 square feet. Great for investment play or for your pivot home. So if you're keen to find out more, our listing details are right down below. So give us a ring and we'll show you the place. Now if you want to check out more content, we can be found on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. We'll see you there. I'm Michaela from Property Lynn Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. We'll see you there. I'm Michaela from Property Lynn Brothers. Always happy to see you today. Um, these uh, uh, charge your. Um, let's knock this down. I don't know really know what I'm talking about there, but okay. <laughs> if you do a queen, uh, no, 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 don't talk already. Ah. Don't talk already. I feel like I'm rambling on already. Let's just end it. Let's just end it. Okay, let's just end it.